Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Ghibli Lost video. Today I figured I may as well kill two birds with one stone, talk about the new Mana Spiral World that just got added for Catherine, as well as talk about this summon showcase which has limited adventures from the New Year's, from previous New Year's on it, and some other stuff. So that's basically going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below about any of the things I'm about to talk about right here, and subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. Alright, let's get into it, huh? So, um, basically this is going to have, I think, all of the... This is, first of all, a, a um, prize showcase. You should never summon on a prize showcase because you want the prizes. None of these prizes are worth, um, worth your worm. <laughs> So never, if you get lucky and get a platinum prize, and even then, if you get unlucky and you get the worst of these, like especially now, this thing is actively worthless. I wish they took it out or demoted it to gold prize, because it does not belong in platinum prize anymore. Maybe if I send enough feedback, they'll listen, but the fact that Adamantium in Inget is still in here is ridiculous compared to Sunlight Stone and the Damascus Inget. If you want to know the difference, this one can be used on six weapons, this one can be used on five. So, that's the main difference here. I don't find much use for it. Maybe if you're a newer player, it's a different story. Anyway, I digress. This one should have all the New Year's units, including the ones that are on the current banner that is up now, unless you are seeing this video a day later, in which case they are gone. But they are not featured. The only limited units that are featured on here are Mitsuhide, Seimei, and Daikikoten, which is very unfortunate because that's actually not the one you want. Actually, Daikikoten's still good, but there's a better um, New Year's Dragon that you want featured on here that it looks like he's going to be on the banner, but he's not actually going to be featured. That's a shame. Maybe the Werb Sigils will have all the New Year's unit, making it a little bit easier. Who knows? But yeah, in general, I don't see a reason to summon on this banner at all unless you badly want Mitsuhede or Seimei or Dekakoden. They are limited. They still have their uses. I'm pretty sure Seimei is still used in some instances for his co-op ability and co-chain ability. I don't know if he's actually used for... It might be more of a co-op thing now that I think about it, but not really a thing for main team status. At least I don't think so. I don't see many teams using Seimei that are not... <laughs> to be fair, I don't look at many co-op teams. I'm usually looking at solo, so grain of salt on that one for me. Uh, Mitsuhede, I really like Mitsuhede. I think I wish they gave her a spiral, though, because she's a little bit old, especially since she was made in the before times back when um, uh, Nihility wasn't really a thing. So they really need to uh, buff her at some point with a mana spiral. And it looks like they are willing to Mana Spiral limited units based off of one of the New Year's units getting a Mana Spiral uh, coming up pretty soon. But hey. Oh, and Deku Conan, pretty good for a Light Dragon. Uh, probably Back in the day, this is actually was one of the best uh, Light Dragons, especially after Galathor got killed by Nihility. Deku Conan kind of stood there. Nowadays, I think he's probably not as good as he used to be, but still pretty solid, and it's fun to mallet people with a giant mouse dragon. So, there's that. In general, I'd say don't summon for this unless you badly care about any of these adventures, and if you're someone who super deeply cares about meta stuff in this game, you already know not to summon. So, there you go. Next, the Mana Spiral. Catherine! I really like the way Catherine plays, so I'm kind of interested to see how she goes. So let's see what she got. Beck and Call. Increase the user's strength and grants them the perfect escort effect. The perfect um, embodied ability buffs the user based on the number of perfect escorts that stacks they have. Alright. And a skill requires 5,400. Stacks up to three times. Strength 30%. Last 10 seconds. Alright. I think the, the strength buff is a little bit of a... Uh, I think he probably got like a 10 or 5% strength increase or something. Perfect order. This is a shareable. Deals damage to targeted nearby enemies and dispels one buff from each of them. The dispel is new. Damage will be increased based on the number of perfect escort stacks the user has. Using the skill will consume all perfect escort stacks. Damage is 60 over 46. Skill energy required 2,000. 20,000, 300,400. Skill energy though, it's only 5,616. Dispels buffs. Uh, one stack damage is 60 over 58 hits. I forgot that this thing hits so much because it's like a, a, a rush of dudes come into the screen. Special effects dispels buffs. 60 over 66 uh, is when the uh, your stack's at 2. And stack's at 3, it is 60 
over 37 hits. Damage is 130 over 37 hits, because it hits twice. It dispels buffs. Okay. And also the... Uh, no, never mind. Let me go. Co-op ability, HP 15%. Chain co-op ability, water above 10 hits equals strength 13%. Abilities, perfection embodied 3. Buffs the user's standard attacks, 4 strikes, and the perfect order skill based on the number of perfect escort stacks they have and increase the user's attack rate by 5%. For each stack, in addition, they will be immune to knock- This is new. The attack rate is new. In addition, they will be immune to knockback and all elemental attuned damage that will be reduced by 10% as long as you have at least one stack. Also, using Beck and Call will grant the user a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 2 every 30 seconds. Potent stun resistance 100%, skill damage uh, 35%, which is probably a 5% increase. Okay, uh, the one thing I did notice here is that there's no mention that she loses her stacks when she gets hit in the... When she released, the way they worded it made it seem that every time she got hit by any attack, and which is what happens, if you get hit and with any attack, you basically lose one of your stacks and it's a big pain in the ass. I actually think she's a really fun unit to use. I love using Catherine. Catherine is maybe one of the funniest users to use because she literally just summons a bunch of dudes on you, like the Secret Service, and completely shuts you down. But the biggest bummer about her was the fact that she loses her stack so easily because there's, you know, if you fight a boss with like un, with a move that you can't dodge, then you just lose it no matter what. <laughs> but I remembered uh, back then when. Um, people were trying her out, like, at max damage, she was able to take down bosses in one move. She was extremely powerful, the problem is, is that it was very hard to keep any of that stuff uh, around for her to actually make use of it. So, if this wording is correct and she doesn't lose any of her stacks, that's an extremely big buff. That's probably the biggest buff they could make to her. It's one of the biggest demerits about actually using her, <laughs> to be honest, is the fact that every time you get hit, you lose, uh, the... Uh, perfect, oh uh, no, is it, what the hell is the name of this stack called, is it called Perfect Order? Perfect Escort, there you go, that you lose them, so I think that's a pretty good, in terms of everything else, like obviously it's a very minimal upgrade because she's newer, so she got the Dispel, she got some Strength Increase, she got some uh, added Attack Rate, nothing too like, um, like amazing or standoffish not standoffish that's not the right word like nothing that like is so crazy because she's not that old of a unit she was i think she was even made was she made post nihility no she wasn't she was released the same time as deku which is the um the water guy that looks a lot like deku from my hero academia so she's old but not that old anyway um, I think this is actually a pretty decent one. I can't wait to see. I really hope that that's the way it is and that she doesn't lose any of these buffs. I'm really interested in checking her out. I will definitely be trying to slow... I'm not sure if I want to use Omnicide on her. Ah, You know, part of me kind of does, but the other times, I just don't know. Hmm. I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of Dragalia videos to record for next time because I finally have time to record all these units that I was finally able to pull, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. But either way, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, why making all the way here, if you did it. If you did, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Have a good night, have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>